Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 new mod map map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. That's right, Welker Farms is finally here. This has bounced backwards and forwards from Giants to Mappers Paradise. We've made the map um, quite a lot recently to get it to console, um, and I think that's one of the things that people are finding now. There's frustration from console gamers. But also, I think from giants and from from um, map makers and modders, is that they can make their mods on PC, test them, get it all right, do all the right scripting, coding, and everything that needs to be done to get it to console. But there's no way of testing it on console until it actually comes out. Um, so they don't know. So it can get bounced back a few times with coding issues and various different things like that. Um, but it's here. Eagerly anticipated, I think, because it's been battles and forwards, and because it was out on FS17, people have already got an idea of the map. Now, if you are, like me, a fan of Welker Farms on YouTube, and you follow them and you watch their videos, um, I'll say I'm excited about this for that reason, because I know I'll get slammed, people will have a go at me and say, but you haven't even done a Let's Play on it. I can like a map not and not do a Let's Play on it. I can like a map on a first look and not do a Let's Play on it. I like the map because I watch the videos, because they the, the the Welker family kind of let you into their lives and see what they do. Uh, with Bob Welker, the father, and Nick and Scott and their families, they kind of invite you in, and that's what you get from it is that real family vibe from from the YouTube channel, and I love that about the channel and what they do. Now, as far as the map goes, oh, I can go two ways on this. I can be honest, and I can be have my integrity kind of intact or I can be all fluffy and positive and wonderful and say you know everything's rosy but there are gonna be a few negatives I've had a quick look round, and there are a few negatives I'll be honest with you and that's what I'm gonna go down that route if you don't like that and you don't want that if you just want it all fluffy and you know flowers and bunny rabbits and the world's wonderful then you probably don't want to watch anymore that's entirely up to you but I am gonna be honest about what I see I do that on all of my map tours so I'm just putting that out there now <laughs> just to say that now let's get on with it we start at the Welk Farms farm right here this is where all the fun stuff happens what mappers paradise do well is recreate to the best of their ability what the actual farm looks like they're working on millennial farmers map at the moment and i have no doubt that will be the same now uh welker farms are a big bud family they run three big buds they've got big brute which they made which is in the mod hub and so are the the big buds they're not going to be standard on map because obviously they're additional mods but if you want to go full welker farms you can absolutely install them you can run not the exact same big buds they do but you can put them on the map and the big brute and you can have boom sprayers and all the different exciting stuff and obviously we're limited on console to what mods are available so a lot of the machinery they do own we don't have exactly what they have but you know fairly close to so we start here at Welker Farms on a large map with a lot of big fields they run a 10,000 acre farm that's just massive so on new farmer you start with the farm and it says there two which I assume is field two but it's tiny and that's all you start with with regard to land land isn't cheap because they are big fields uh, we are looking at over a million for the bigger ones even the small ones 225,000 I think is about the cheapest I've found 254 although that one doesn't have a most does 253 doesn't have a number now in real life Welker Farms don't own all of these they've got plots spread out across a very broad area but obviously for the purposes of this video or the game uh, this map they're all kind of put in one place now the question people are going to ask as well is has enough changed from the previous version of the game um, but if you love Welker Farms and you want to play it on FS19 you're going to you're going to play it anyway uh, but if you play on this version on New Farmer we're already 817 slots that's right 817 slots at the top corner of 1299 
but you do start with a fair bit of equipment I'll be honest which is rather cool we've got a case Puma 240 uh, they do run an older case I don't think it's a 7250 but they do have an older case uh, and they did recently have on loan a test vehicle they had a quad track um, so that's kind of not too dissimilar they do run a couple of trucks they're not obviously lizard warriors but um, I think they're oh I don't want to get it wrong I want to say Peterbilt's but they're not might be they might not be Peterbilt's can't remember now um, but you do start with the warrior they run a couple of um, case 8230s I can never quite remember the numbers they've got two new um, case harvesters now the downside obviously on game as well is the case harvesters in game at the moment are with tracks I don't think you can have them with wheels so you've got two massive Ferguson's in here in real life they run a John Deere um, skid steer loader but they've also got recently they've got a JCB tele skid which is skid steer loader with a telescopic boom which I think is fantastic but they've got that on loan from JCB at the moment but in game we've got a new Holland version uh, we've got a Load King trailer, we've got a Kinsey grain cart, the headers for the two harvesters. We've got a nice big SPSL 9 plough, that's why you need the quad track to pull it, or something equivalent. Uh, we've got a Demkin Gigant 12S1600, Metris 4102 herbicide and fertiliser sprayer. We've got a K105 fertiliser spreader, front loader forks. Um, and then we can move into the actual stuff which Mappers Paradise have put on. So we've got grain silo mods, and if you go into, um, we'll have a look in a second, into placeables, you'll be able to find all this stuff under placeables. Uh, but there's the grain silo, these are nice, we'll have a look at these in a second. Two sets of grain silos, 100,000 litres each. Slot counts do vary, um, and the capacity is the same, so it depends, again, if you want to do your own farm, what you want to go, the route you want to go down. The various different sheds that they have um, are removable and sellable, so you can get rid of them if you want to. And then you've got um, Scott and Nick's houses, uh, various different bits that are around the farm which are true to life and they've been kind of added in, tanks and things like that. The pool and then the main farmhouse, Bob Welker's house, which is fantastic. These are all available. If you go along to uh, placeables, they're all in here. Now, you need to have a search around. They're all in here, um, all these buildings uh, under silos. We've got these ones here. Now, what I will say is on farm manager mode, you start with no buildings at all. You don't own the land. You have 1.25 million in the bank. The slot count is still up at 665, I think it is, of 1299. But oddly, you do start with all the machinery still. Um, so I suppose if you've got rid of all the machinery as well, if you want to go completely start, you know, sort of start from scratch, uh, farm manager, then that slot count will drop a bit if you got rid of all the machinery but you don't start with the buildings do start with the machinery i just thought i'd you know throw that in there as well and under miscellaneous we've got um if i get through all the bits i've got seed silo fertilizer silo water station which i don't think i couldn't actually find it on the map uh but for five thousand you can place that their water storage i think is out if i get it right out on the county road and have to go quite a long way to refill their water and bring it back <clears throat> excuse me anyway so the main farm itself uh when they're doing i would urge you to go and watch their channel if you don't watch it already watch it this is their main workshop and office and this is where they do their restorations all their repair work at the moment they've got one of their big buds in here most of the way for a restoration and it hasn't quite they're not quite there yet probably a couple of days away from it being done but obviously there's all the rest of the farm work to be done um the lift works for repair of vehicles which is quite cool like that uh, <laughs> Nick and Scott here having a chat Hollywood and leg arms as they are known in their channel on their channel we do have lights that work and the door if I can find the trigger that seems to be doing the lights why is that not doing the door that door oh, there you go. the door does open this is the office just in here and it's it's cool and it, it feels very true to life the difference between 17 and 19 i've said this before it seems a bit more kind of lush and there's more detail i think around the place that being said and i'll be i'll be totally honest and i'll you know 
I'll be brutal. Not everything is here. Now, I remember on 17 it being an almost exact recreation. Now, I don't know if that's the, the, the port over to console this time that's caused it. I don't know. It just doesn't seem as faithfully recreated as it was on 17. But that could be because of the new the new landscaping system and place the balls and building your own farm and that kind of thing because on the original you couldn't sell all of these buildings so I think in Mappers Paradise doing that they've had to sacrifice a few things which I totally get skid steer loaders just sitting there truck around the back I think they run two three of these I think uh, and the first of our grain silos is around the back here what's really cool is the unload point you've got the unload grain section here and then the auger that goes out to the, the silo which I, I love that. I think that's really, really cool. That works really well. Um, the silos do your main crop types um, here. If you want root crop storage, you're going to have to put that in yourself. Um, so what we're going to do is grab... Um, I think we're going to grab the truck. Drop it down. Bear with me one second. Sorry, I have to turn off auto engine start. It drives me mad. <laughs> so... We are now facing north, east, west, and south, just in case you weren't sure. Cardinal point to the compass. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw it in there. Um, the main farmhouse. Actually, you know what we will do. Let's whiz round here. Sorry. I'm just excited. <clears throat> like I say, I think it's fantastic when you can kind of put yourself in that position where you come down something you watch on telly you know almost every day when you're watching the videos to be able to then walk around on that and see it all i think is fantastic uh scott welker's house just over here nick welker's house it says in the door hollywood which i love very very cool just there and then bob welker's house is there on the 17 version there were a lot more sound effects there are various different things there was obviously a treasure hunt for gold and things like that one thing that is missing that I think is glaringly obvious from here is the children's swing set, play set. We've got the pool, but I'm sure the play set was here on the 17 version. I know it's a minor thing, and that's what I'm saying. I'm being honest, I'm just saying, because that people will comment and they will say, you know, that they'll, they'll notice and they'll see the things. Again, I've said this before when I do first look or map tours. Um, you can't hide the things. If there are things that are wrong with the map or noticeable errors or whatever you can't hide them people will see them they'll play on the map themselves they'll comment or they'll see on your video and they'll comment so you can't hide them you can't pretend they don't exist we're gonna head west along the main roads here we're gonna hit, hit all the main cell points as you can tell it is flat flat as a pancake um, makes life a lot easier for holding big machinery and stuff and this is a big machinery map. Contracts are available, they pay out incredibly well. I know on a few maps recently, contracts have been a bit glitched and people have had issues with contracts not completing and various different things like that. Be wary of that because if you start a contract on one of these massive fields, it's going to take you a while and, you know, I don't know, I haven't done a full contract on anything on here yet. But as you can tell, these are, I mean, when you're driving, these are big, big fields. But they are in real life and that's kind of the whole point of recreating that field now if you if you don't watch welker farms and you just think the map's a, a great idea because it's flat and you want to set up your whole new farm system coming onto here on um, farm manager at the main farm there are no buildings at all and you can pick any plot of land to put your buildings on because it's fairly flat that does make life a lot easier and it gives you the option to do whatever you want on this changes from 17 to 19 that i really really like on here we have got a fertilizer silo for storing fertilizer which i think is brilliant i think i said this when i did the, the first look at the map tour on 17. i remember watching the episode when these got put in when they got delivered and got put in absolutely fantastic to watch so that's fertilizer silo so you can buy fertilizer and store it more of our machinery here and this is the seed silo so you can put your silo as uh, your seed actually i don't think there's a seed buy point or storage it does say silo. Maybe it's just purchasing. Um, I thought it was for storage, but possibly not. I've got a trailer here to check that. 
Anyway, this is recreated incredibly well. Um, they've got their kind of scrapyard, which is over to the side here, which on the last few episodes I've watched, they've been trying to clear it up. They've got moved tyres and they're getting rid of stuff and gradually working their way through their... I say junkyard, it's not junk, because they do use a lot of the scrap and various different things for projects they work on. And the second of the farm silos is just here with the same unload point. Just there. And on the end of this one is you've got your loading point, so when you want to take your crops out of the storage, you can do that. Now, we're going to continue out west, and we're going to head up to the top corner. So we're going to go to the northwest to the first couple of cell points. I will see you there in a second. I'm just going to go west, then north, and we're going to head right up into the corner. So this northwest corner has changed considerably from the 17 version. We've got root crop cell point is just up here with the cell point. We've got some more barn space as well. Cell point just here. You can go past the cell point, you don't have to go over it around the side there. Um, some nice features here that have been added in. And then as we go further around, we've got the sawmill. Now there is forestry available. There's a little bit at the top here, and there's some on the southern part of the map. Weirdly, and I don't know if it, actually this has been done on purpose, it's a bit frustrating, if I'm honest, but you grab a chainsaw. But the actual road in is blocked by tree. I'm not sure why that's been done. I mean, you can move or drive around it, but yeah, it's an odd one. Peculiar having that in place, but wood sale. So as we come in to the right hand side, we've got a wood chip sale point, which is just over here. And we have got our lumber sale point which is just here. So that's northwest corner. Um, we're going to head over now to the northeast corner. On the way past, there's actually quite a big placeable area. We'll just have another look back on the map. So we've gone from the main farm. We went west. We headed up. We've done this section here. Now it says fertilizer silo. Yeah, well, I'll check that. Uh, we're up here at the moment. So we looked at root crop and wood chips. We're going to go right the way across here, but we have got a placeable area just there, which you can buy separately for 106,000. I think there's another couple right the way down the bottom of the map here. We've got a couple of placeable areas here. One there, and we've got one there. So you can add various different bits in. Oh, no, not that one, that one there. But we're going to be heading up to this corner now where we've got an animal dealer. The animal dealer is new on this map. It wasn't on 17 version. Um, there are no animals to start off with on this map. You don't start with any animals at all. Only because the Welker Farms don't run animals. They used to way back, I think. Uh, did they do cattle? I can't remember now. I do think they do have some chickens in the yard, but... Uh, so, yeah. A couple of things to note, and we'll, we'll, I'll point one out when we get there. I'm just going to head across the top of the map. The actual view off the edge of the map is one of those things that's glaringly obvious. It's a bit odd. Knowing what some map makers have done and are able to do with the kind of view distance that goes off away from the edges of the map, and even if you've got an edge round showing, I'm pretty sure in the original version, off in the distance you had the mountains, didn't you? I'm sure you did. I'm just, a, I don't know. It's a small, it's a small thing, but it's one of those things. It's glaringly obvious when you get to the map edge. I, t I hate to say the word, but it looks a little bit unfinished. I don't want to be doing Mappers Paradise a disservice. They do, they do brilliant work, and they've done a brilliant job on the map. But like I say, these things are there. They're glaringly obvious. You can't shy away from them, and people will comment. But I'm just pointing out what's there. So, yeah. Right, so, heading east. Don't get me wrong, I'm still excited to be on the map. We are now approaching the northeast corner of the map. It's, I mean, it seems to be quite a long drive, but I suppose it's because it's it's featureless for all intents and purposes. It's just the fields, which is how it really is. Leg arms industries. Very nice touch. Now, I haven't found a line point on this. There's no biogas plant, plant either, so you might want to plant, plant, place one of those yourself. Now, again sound effect on this is a bit off I think personally it is just my opinion I 
wonder if the sound file has gone off or something on that. I, d I don't know. Maybe that is intended. Like I say, it could be the crossover from PC modding to console. It happens, um, but it's a bit of a peculiar one. Got all these buildings here, but what we are aiming for is the livestock market, which is just in the corner here, the animal dealership which is here, so you can buy all your animals there once you've got your pens in place. If you want to run animals, you might not want to. I say you might just decide to come on this map and do this as a, literally a billiard table, I can build my own farm and create whatever I want on here map. And that's entirely up to you. Um, there are some bales over here, and this has got me a bit puzzled, because they look like not ones that have been put down as just visual kind of visual aids when you get to them it does give you that they seem to be ones that you can pick up potentially but that'll be something you'll have to have a look at yourself if you run animals and decide you need straw bales maybe come and have a look so that's animal dealership top right hand corner now we're going to be heading down the map south down the eastern side of the map so we are now at the dealership and we're heading down this road here to this part here. Now in real life this part here is actually owned by one of their neighbours I believe. I'm sure in one of the v recent videos Nick said they do use it occasionally. It doesn't actually have sell points there in real life um, but I think it's owned by one of the neighbours. But we've got wool sale and straw sale point there. pretty sure one of the contracts I looked at the other day the other day last night this map dropped and the mods dropped really late last night UK time it was about I think eight ish maybe something like that um, and it was Friday night I was doing stuff with the family I couldn't do the video last night just one of those things I, I put it on had a quick look um, it says we buy eggs on the sign I like the fact that I say it, it's kind of one of those frustrating, it's an odd thing in that so many parts of the map are so faithfully recreated to how it looks in, in real life with the little building in the field there and where these things are placed but then there are bits of it that just don't seem quite right and I don't know why that is. Now the actual sell point shows us being here for the straw which, let's have a quick look on here they kind of overlap. Now, I don't know if it's in the building, but here's another one. And again, so I'm sorry, but it's a little niggle. But the texture inside the buildings isn't great. When you think of the textures available and what it looks like outside and the ground textures and grass, that kind of thing. We've seen this a lot on mods and various different maps. Again, it could be the crossover onto console. Put barns and stuff open. Then we've got the wall sale. Now it does say uh, we buy eggs, so I'm going to do very quickly. Let's have a look in here at the sell points. We haven't got many, to be fair. Um, CHS grain is your main sell point for all your main crop types. Uh, but then you've got milk sell point we'll get to. Root crop we've already been to. Straw. Uh, weirdly doesn't take eggs, but wool sale does. So where it says we buy eggs, that'll be the wool sale point. Um, wood chip is obviously up at the sawmill and there's your wood chip sell point uh, uh, price on there and root crops is obviously your root crops if we find them there we go including sugar cane so sorry miles away so as far as the actual sell point goes I'm not sure if they actually tie up because when we come all the way up to here This says Wool & Co, Shelby. Shelby, Montana is just not far off from here. It's the main town city uh, from Welker. Welker Farms is in Montana. I should have said that at the start, really, shouldn't I? Um, same thing with this building. So like I say, the actual cell points, if you can click on them and you can get one of those green kind of long pipes that go up into the air to show you where the cell point is. But it doesn't seem to marry up exactly with the map. So if I now move across, it kind of shows the sell point on the map as being here, but then you've got the sign over there. 
So again, it's not hazard marked on the ground. That might take a bit of fiddling around with just to find it. Um, yeah, it's not one, actually. Let's... Let's go with straw. Tag place. There we go. So that's where it says the straw sale point is. And if I go to wool sale tag place yeah it shows it as being here but the actual sign is over there so I don't know it's a bit of a peculiar one until we actually get some wool to sell and bring it over that's going to be tricky to tell so it's again it's a they're minor little things but I suppose they start to build up and it's a bit odd I don't know why it happens I guess Right, we are going to continue south on the eastern edge of the map, down to the last of our cell points and bits to look at. I'll see you down there in a minute. We've seen that a lot more on maps, and we found it a lot recently, that um, you don't seem to be getting water points on farms, which is a bit of an odd one. Now, this is where most of the changes have happened on the map massive changes on the 17 version the store was over here chs grains was over here you had um a bit that went off here into the woodland which we can have a look at in a second um so yeah this is where most of the changes have happened ch chs has now moved that's over here big imposing building um and obviously in real life there's one place they go and take all their stuff to uh, which is, I suppose, fairly local on US standards. In the UK, you'd think, well, actually, that's not local at all. But Yeah, still not sure about that. Um, so, it's actually quite narrow to get down, but the cell point is down in here. There we go. Again, some nice touches on, you know, on parts of this that have been changed. It looks really, really good. They've done a brilliant job. Overall feeling is, I like the map. I like what they've done. I like the feel that it feels like, you know, it feels like Welker Farms. And you go around parts of it thinking, wow, I remember seeing this when I watched such and such a video. And, you know, when they were moving this or doing this or doing this crop or doing their spraying. And that's what I like about it. So, background, with one of the place areas I pointed out is just over here. So this here is one of the place areas I pointed out. You need to buy it, but it's placeable. I did have a fiddle around. I went onto farm manager mode, where you start off at the main farm and you've got no buildings or anything. And I struggled to place things. I thought, I'll have a go, because I know the first thing people say is, OK, but I can't place anything now. I struggled to place things at the main farm. Where existing buildings had been, when you play on New Farmer, um, it wouldn't let you place... I don't know, it's, it's one of those tricky things, I guess. I don't know, As the more mod reviews I do, the more uh, map tools I do, I guess the map makers are struggling to balance all of it. You know, I, I you know, it's that... How do you do it all? Big Sky Equipment is your main store, which is just here, kind of outdoor sales section i suppose shutters come down on there at night that's here cash point is just here we have got um some old machinery there if you're interested in leasing or buying or restoring something we've got some bollards to stop you coming through here that's what we call them in the uk i guess they're bollards in the usa don't know um our customization repair point is just here you can actually get round to the other part around the back here if you want to Buying equipment places it in this area here. Resetting equipment, if you have an incident, accident, or you just want to reset, resets back to the main farm. So that's actually a bit easier. If you're buying machinery and you want to get to the main farm and you've bought quite a lot, you can probably just reset it directly there. That would make life a lot easier. But again, how people play the game is entirely up to them. What they do with it is entirely up to them. That's a good point, actually. At the main. Oh, yeah, of course it was. There wasn't a disc there, though, was there? I'm just thinking, over at the main... F oh, this is, sorry, this is the milk cell point. Just here. Again, it's not hazard marked. There's no tape on the floor or anything like that. So I assume it's just... 
I hate saying the word assume, but it's just, it's not, you, you can't test every single cell point on a map before you do a map tour. This is just kind of having a look around it. You'll have to have a fiddle around and see what you think. Bit of construction work going on here, and we've got another placeable area just over here. I'm pretty sure when I did one of my, was it on Lone Oak? And I went to buy some case equipment. I set up an entire kind of case machinery store on this plot of land on FS17. I'm sure I did. Um, so there you go. Like I said, I haven't found a lime station specifically on here. So you may have to place one. Water, I'm not sure about either. And again, I'm, I'm sorry for saying I'm not sure, but I'm really not. Now, as far as forestry goes, there is a bit more around the back, which we'll have a quick look at now. So I'll carry straight on down. Will bring me around the back. Now, if you don't do forestry or anything like that, it's probably going to be irrelevant to you. And I would think if you're just doing farming and uh, on this map anyway, you might be doing contracts, you might be working on the big fields. This is part of the map you probably won't come to. You might not have even ventured this far down past the store. But if you come around the back here, there's all these trees and a load of forestry to do around the back here. Some parts incredibly detailed, some parts incredibly sparse. There's plenty of room for moving big machinery around up here. And then we come back to here, we've got our exit. I mean, that's all the cell points. We've been around them all. This is just showing off what else is on the map, really. And again, we've got the exit point here, but it's blocked by trees. It's an interesting feature. It's, you know, it, you're going to have to clear those before you start logging and stuff, but I'm not quite sure why they're there. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's intentional, or again, that might be a glitch with with the programming. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, I don't know. Like I said at the start, I don't want to be overly negative. I'm, I'm finding. And I suppose it's that, that problem that because this exists in the real world, because it's something that people say see day in, day out, if they watch the Welker Farms, trying to recreate that faithfully enough to keep fans happy is hard. Trying to balance that then with um, people that just want to play the game and do farming, they've got to get that balance just right. We've got this big section here, it looks like it's been logged, but there's not really anything else on it. So I suppose you could then... I say extend fields. The fields are massive. There's probably no reason why you would want to extend the fields. So bear with me a minute. We're just going to do a test on something else. Right, so I'm back up now at the fertilizer silo and seed silo because I wanted to check something. I bought over the uh, case Puma from the main farm and I've leased a trailer just to double check this. And this is actually a buy point. It's not, when it says silo, is a buy point. I, I thought you could bring stuff here and actually load it up. But your seed and fertiliser refill point is here. I don't think there's a liquid fertiliser one. Unless that comes out there as well, I'd have to bring up a liquid fertiliser tank as well. Oh, geez, this one, isn't it? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? So I'm assuming the seed's going to be exactly the same. Let's grab this one. Double check that. It might be it does both from there as well. Potentially. But you do have to pay. That's an odd thing in that these silos belong to the farm. Oh yeah, you can do liquid here as well. So liquid and solid fertilizers there, and then the seed one is just over here. So these are your refill points, which I suppose they've got to have them on the map. Um, I just don't know whether it would have been a better. Again, I'm being overcritical, I think, but um, having them as silos you could fill up yourself would be more true to life, wouldn't it? Because that's what they do. But at the end of the day, their refill points, they're here. Um, so overall, um, kind of final thoughts. I like it a lot. I like the map. I like what Mappers Paradise have done. They've recreated the Welker Farms feel really well. All the main points are here. All the things are, you're used to seeing. Um, is it a good enough map? 
uh, for if you're just a farming simulator fan and you just want to play it but you don't watch Welker Farms or know a lot about it. If you like big American maps with big open areas and huge fields, yeah, you're going to love it. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. Are there a few minor issues with it? Yes, there are. There are a few minor issues. Um, Texture-wise, and I, I didn't show it, but over in the top corner at the animal dealership, there's one of the security cameras is floating about three or four feet away from the building. There are minor issues like that, and they are minor. There may well be an update coming soon. But overall, it's a good map. You know, I, I love the feel of it. I like the Welker Farms thing. You know, I think I've made that clear enough already. Mappers Paradise have done a brilliant job at recreating it, but there are a few niggly little problems. But then there's nothing that's going to stop you playing on the map. You know, that's the thing about it. So I think that's the overall, you know, it's a thumbs up, isn't it? It's, it's fantastic. They've done a great job. Um, I don't want to be knocking it. And like I said right at the start, I've got to be honest. And, and the things you can see, you can see. But there is so much fantastic detail in here, that, which is true to life, you know. What do you do? What do you do? Anyway, that's about it, I think. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, be kind. If you want to share this video, feel free. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.